Hello friends, welcome back. Let us see exercise 3.3. As usual, I am going to discuss the problems and you are going to solve the problems. No spoon feeding please. Example 1. Triangle ABC and DEF are similar. Construct ABC. Okay, now they are given. AB is 5.2, BC is 4.6 and B is 45. Also they are given BC upon EF is 2 by 3. Construct triangle DEF. Now this you can solve by both the methods. First you have to construct the triangle ABC. Whatever they are given. AB is 5.2. AB is 5.2, BC is 4.6 and angle B is 45 degrees, 45 degrees, ABC and DEF, vertices are not common, none of the vertex, vertex is common. So you have to solve this by the calculation method. They are given the BC upon EF is 2 by 3. So BC upon EF they are given 2 by 3. So calculate all three sides or at least these two sides. Let us write this. ABC is similar to DEF. And BC upon EF. BC upon EF is 2 by 3. When BC upon EF is 2 by 3, all the sides are in the ratio 2 by 3. Correct? And so, you can easily find out BC. EF you can easily find out. BC is given 4.6. So, you will get the base. Now, BA upon BA upon ED is 2 by 3. So, you will get the ED also. And angle is same, 45 degrees. So, calculate base 1 base and this side that is BC EF first calculate EF then calculate DE angle is same and you can construct this triangle please do it pause your video here then we'll go ahead second problem LMN and XYZ are similar triangles in LMN LM is 6 MN is 6.8 and ln is 7.6 three sides are given you can easily construct this triangle so first construct this triangle lm upon xy are in the ratio 4 is to 3 so the second triangle is smaller triangle but again lmn xyz so there are no common vertex and so you have to calculate all the sides by the ratio and then solve this let us go ahead very simple uh, example both of them Third one, this is for October 12, 4 marks, okay. Now, RHP and NED, again, no vertex is common. So, you have to solve by calculation method, analytical method, okay. In NED, N is 7, D is 30 degrees, N is 20 degrees. Two angles are given, one side is given and HP upon ED, is 4 upon 5. Ratio is given 4 upon 5. The second triangle is a smaller triangle what they are asked. Construct RHP and NED. Both the triangles you have to construct. So first draw NED because all the dimensions are given. One side and two angles are given. So draw NED. Calculate all only one side you have to calculate. So the angles will be same remain same. So you have to find out the base only by ratio and construct 4 marks for such a simple example is amazing actually. Let us go ahead. The fourth example. The triangle LTR and triangle HYD again no vertex is common. So you have to go by calculation method. Construct HYD where HY is 7.2, YD is 6 and Y is 40 degrees. We can easily calculate this. Uh, 
one side or two sides you have to calculate by the ratio they are given LR upon HD is 5 upon 6. Very simple. Calculate both the sides. One angle is given and so you can solve this by calculation method. Now, this example is in the March 12 and October 14 exam for 5 marks. Triangle AMT will solve this. Triangle AMT is similar to triangle AHE. Now A is common, so you have to solve by graphical method. Okay. In triangle AMT, first of all draw the triangle AMT. Uh, MA is 6.3. This is 6.3 they are given. Angle MAT is 120 degrees. This is an obtuse angle triangle. 120 degrees. Don't look at my lines and all this thing. I am drawing freehand. Okay. And then they are given AT is 4.9. This AT is 4.9. So it is very easy to construct the first triangle. This triangle. Okay. What else they are given? MA upon HA 7 by 5. MA upon HA is 7 upon 5. Okay. HA that means the second triangle is a smaller triangle. Okay. First draw this triangle which is the larger figure 7. So I will I will draw any line as per my wish at any angle. I will make 7 parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. MA is 7. So I will connect M to 7th part. Draw congruent angle at 5th part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At this point I will draw congruent angle so that I will get this H point. Okay, now I will draw congruent angle to M at H. So this line will be parallel and here I will get E. Very simple, you have to just draw two congruent angles and your figure is complete. So please pause your video and actually construct both the triangles now. Pause your video please. Next example. This is very similar to the previous example. In triangle SHR, triangle SHR is similar to triangle SVU. S point is common. So which method we have to go? Graphical method. Okay. Construction method. No analytical method. Okay. Now first you have to draw triangle SHR because they are given uh, SH is 4.5 then HR is 5.2 HR is 5.2 and SR is 5.8 SR is 5.8 so you can easily construct this triangle okay next they are given SH upon SV SH upon SV is equal to 3 upon 5 SH upon SV is 3 upon 5. Okay. So now how will I construct this triangle? S is a common point. So my SV, SH upon SV, V will come somewhere extended line because SV is 5. So that I have to extend this line. So V will come upon somewhere on this line. Now how many parts I have to do? 5 parts. So I will take any line. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. To the third part I have to connect H. 1, 2, 3. I will connect this to here. Now I will draw congruent angle to this angle at this point. Okay. So that angle will give me one parallel line which will connect here somewhere and I will get SV. 
correct now i have to find rh so what i should do now forget about the down part now i will draw congruent angle to this angle at this point okay so i will get one parallel line here extend that line this angle is congruent to this and now extend this line so this will be your point u very simple just you have to draw two congruent angles that's all nothing difficult in this and so here we have finished the exercise 3.3 only six examples in 3.3 very easy examples i'm just telling you that be very very particular about the construction practice construction a lot okay because drawing a line perfect line sometimes there is a one more problem i'll tell you sometimes some students have got the broken edge scales that means the scale is old plastic scale is there that is old and the edges are broken so they cannot suppose you want to draw a line of 5.4 cm so they cannot start at 0 because that is broken part so they start at 1 when they start at 1 and 5.4 line is there they have to draw 6.4 line the first line they draw properly and after that they forget that they are started from 1 not from 0 and they draw for 5.4 they draw only 1 to 5.4 what will happen your figure will go wrong and if this mistake you commit everywhere in drawing every side what will happen figure will look similar but your answer will be wrong if they ask you something that uh, find out the uh, length of the su or the uv then that will be wrong everywhere you are committing same mistake you are taking one less so maybe not sure maybe the calculation part will not wrong your figure will also look same but your answer will be wrong if they ask you to find out the measurement of the uv that will be wrong so if you have the broken scale edges broken scale better buy new one best method is buy stainless steel scale no plastic scales stainless steel scale is generally used in industry so calibration is fantastic on that very proper calibration edges cannot be broken even the marking will not fade out so stainless steel scale is better for this so if you can buy one stainless steel scale it is always better so that's all in uh, example or exercise 3.3 so we will now go to the problem set 3 thank you very much